I want to take a step backward in time and go back to the beginning of the week and talk again about the biggest act of restoration ever, uh, that being God restoring us into a proper relationship with himself through Jesus Christ. Welcome to Encouraging Word of Brief, Daily Word of Encouragement from the Bible. My name is Dave. I'm in Killarney, Manitoba, and the snowing has stopped, and uh, we'll be digging out today. Uh, so glad that you are able to be with us today, and I trust that this is a blessing to you. You know, we talked earlier this week about forgiving and restoring relationships. Uh, the biggest act of restoration, of course, is our relationship to God. When we were sinners, Christ died for us. Ephesians chapter 2, verses 19 to 20 says, Consequently, you are no longer foreigners and strangers, but fellow citizens of God's people and also members of his household, built on the foundation of the apostles and the prophets, with Christ himself as the chief cornerstone. In him the whole building is joined together and rises to become a holy temple in the Lord. And in him you two are being built together to become a dwelling in which God lives by his spirit. Know that you as a believer in Jesus are a part of God's family, a part of God's household. And along with other believers, uh, you are not a stranger to God. He knows you, he loves you, and you're being built into a house where God dwells. That's what God says. Romans chapter 18, verses 14 to 17 says this, For those who are led by the Spirit of God are the children of God. The Spirit you receive does not make you slaves so that you live again in fear. Rather, the Spirit you received brings about your adoption to sonship. And by him we cry, Abba, Father, word Abba being Daddy. Uh, the Spirit himself testifies with our spirit that we are God's children. Now, if we are children, then we are heirs, heirs of God and co-heirs with Christ, if indeed we share in his sufferings, in order that we, all, we, we also may share in his glory. You know, we can come to God as his children, not because of our goodness, not because of how wonderful we are, but because of what Jesus has done for us. And he makes us family. He makes us uh, heirs of God. He brings us right into the family of God. The Bible says that the Spirit itself testifies that we are God's children. Some followers of Jesus live way below their standing. Uh, they go around moaning and sulking about why God doesn't love them like he should or like others and why God makes them go through all these hard things in life. That must mean that he doesn't love them. And they forget who they are. They forget the privileges that we have in Christ Jesus. They live like they hope that one day God will be pleased with them and that they can somehow earn God's favor. And they somehow forget you are a child of God. Live like it. Enjoy it. Know who your daddy is. You know, the Holy Spirit himself testifies again that we are the children of God. If you don't know that inside, if there's not something inside you that's reminding you that you're a child of God, then there's something wrong. Maybe you never really surrendered to Christ, or maybe you were never taught properly. Maybe you were never taught all that Christ did for you, or maybe you've taken it for granted and you've forgotten it. I want to remind you, you're a child of God. The Bible testifies and the Spirit testifies that we are his children. And not just his children, we're heirs of God, co-heirs with Christ Jesus. We have such great privileges. That doesn't mean life's going to be easy. Jesus suffered. That didn't mean God didn't love him. And you will go through hard times. That doesn't mean God doesn't love you. God does love you and God does care for you. Uh, God wants you to not only share in his sufferings, but also share in his glory with Christ. And we believe that. We, we, we honor that. And today you need to know that. You need to know that you're a beloved child of God. Uh, I want to encourage you today to seek out the Lord, to let him remind you uh, who you are. Let the Spirit testify inside you that you indeed are a child of God. Don't be discouraged. Don't listen to all these people that tell you that you're not good enough. You're not smart enough. You're not holy enough. You, you don't do the right things. You don't, don't believe the right things. You know, just if you are a follower of Jesus Christ, you believe that Christ 
died and rose from the dead, the Bible says that you are a child of God and the Holy Spirit will testify that inside you. You need to know that. You need to accept it. You need to live like that as a child of God. Let's pray together. Father, thank you so much for what Jesus did for us. Not only did he die for our sins, but he rose again that we might live. And God, you made us your children because we have put our faith in Jesus Christ, because we trust him. We are co-heirs with Christ heirs of God, co-heirs with Christ. The Spirit itself testifies that we are your children. So Father, I pray for every person here today who may be doubting, may be questioning who they are and, and, and their, their rights in the family of God. May they know today that they are your children, that you love them, you care for them, you invite them to come boldly to the throne of grace in prayer. So Father, I pray for every person today that will do that, will come boldly to your throne of grace, not because they fear you, but because they know that you love them. So, Father, I pray for your people today, for your children, and I pray, God, that we may live like your children. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey, thanks so much for taking time to watch. God willing, I'll be back on Monday with another encouraging word. You know, if you're in the Killarney area this week, we certainly invite you to join us. We meet 1030 Sunday morning at 411 Finley Street. It's called New Life Assembly. We'd love to see you, love to welcome you, love to have you part of our service. God bless. Have a great day. Trust that uh, uh, you really remind yourself today or reminded that you are a child of God. God bless you.